This is the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, the only podcast devoted to making soul music relevant again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. My special, special, special guest today is a talented duo from Baltimore, Maryland, uh, who I used to follow way back in the day. I'm speaking to David Chance and Dante Jordan from the group Rough Ends. Fellas, how you doing today? Hey, my brother. What's up, my brother? Uh, same old, same old, man. Just trying to stay safe in this pandemic. Oh, man, how we all? Yes, sir. Um, well, welcome to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Um, like I said, I'm a huge fan. I couldn't wait to talk to you guys. Man, um, you. you guys have a new um, album that's coming out April 2nd, which is Friday mm -hmm. when we'll air this interview. Um, it's called Rebirth. Um, we're going to get into that just a little bit, but I want to talk yeah. a little bit about, about your past. Um, now you guys are from Baltimore, uh, mm -hmm. and there's so many, so much good music in that city. Uh, we were talking before, and I believe Drew Hill's from there, and you guys were saying that you guys all used to kind of work together. Yeah, we used to work at a place called the Fudgery. It's a candy making place where they make like fudge from scratch. You know what I mean? And they used to make, we used to make them on these big marble tables. You know what I mean? So. We would do songs and it would be like a whole fudgery show, if you will. But it was crazy working with those cats, man, back in the day. We didn't we didn't know how, you know, things would turn out. Them making it, they actually made it, you know, before us. And then uh, right after we, you know, we got out there with Sony. So it's crazy how to see how things turn out, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, congratulations on all your success, man. And um, I know we are a little pressed for time. So let's just get into uh, the new album. Uh, rebirth. Um, why the name Rebirth? What is that? What does that entail? Um, quite a few things. Um, shout out to our label, um, the new home of R and B, SRG, Universal. Shout out to Claude, um, uh, exec, our exec over, over at um, SRG that I came up with the title actually. Um, it basically embodies us coming full circle um 20 years in the industry we just celebrated our 20th anniversary of being in the industry um uh, so like 2020 everybody that survived 2020 is like okay we got to start making music uh for people's lives that's indicative of survival of surviving and coming back together and getting your love back right and all of that good stuff so but for us um this project is written, written and produced. Uh, my brother David produced the whole album and we both wrote it, um, as well as his son. His son is, is one of the producers on the album as well. So for us, this is a, a rebirth on so many levels. Um, and um, I, I, I think it's perfect. Uh, I absolutely love the, the concept of bringing the full circle with this next album called Rebirth. Okay. Uh, yeah, I got sent a, a couple of songs. Uh, congratulations and be the one. And if the rest of the album is, if the rest of the album is indicative of those two songs, I think you guys have a hit on your hands, man. Cause uh, um, yeah. it's great. It's great. Two great Thank songs. You. So um, now uh, when this is, you said you guys have been in the game 20 years um is this your first release in a while or i know you guys have been doing other things traveling and doing other stuff is this your first album um well i won't say 20 years but when was the last time yeah. you dropped an album well we actually put out an album in 2018 mm. and um 
it was called Soul Brothers. That was when we first got back together. And um, it was independently. We just, you know, we just got back together because um, a lot was going on in Baltimore at the time. If you remember Freddie Gray and everything that, you know, rest in peace to Freddie Gray and his family. Um, much love to his whole family. But Freddie Gray grew up in an area where we're very familiar, the same part of town where we're from. And um, me and Dante reconnected in Baltimore. And when we reconnected, the first thing we did is we did a song called Time for Change that was for Freddie Gray and just the whole thing that was going on with our people, you know what I mean? So we wanted to use our platform to be a voice to speak out of what was going on. And uh, that was the beginning of us getting back together. And, and uh, you know, right away, we did an album called Soul Brothers because our album, you know, our fans was like, when are y'all coming out with something? We was like, okay, let's give them something, you know what I mean? And uh, we went back in and we did an album called Soul Brothers and which was the album that led us to SRG Universal, which, I, which is our new partnership with this label, which is the home of people like Brian McKnight, you know, Raheem Devon, Bobby Valentino, they got great artists that we respect. So um, it was that album that got us to where we are now, man. So we've been, we've been working and uh, we've been doing a lot of soundtrack stuff. We had stuff on the soundtrack called Shots Fired, we had a, another song called Speak to My Heart that was on there. We had a song called Virtuous Woman that was on another uh, hit TV show called David Makes Man that was on the old network, produced by Oprah and Michael B. Jordan. So we've been doing soundtrack stuff over the last couple of years that's kind of uh, along the way of leading us to where we are now, if you will. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you guys have been staying pretty busy from, from what I can gather. Um, yeah. Okay. So... You said, let me back up a little bit. You said that uh, you guys had got back together, I think 2018 or so. Had you guys had split up or kind of just decided to do different things? I mean, 20 years is a long time to be, you know, in a partnership with someone. How did that, how did that work? Um, we definitely did other things. Um, David put some music out. He, he um, well, let me go back. Um, things were a little crazy. A lot of people started getting fired at Epic. Um, I'm talking about from the top down, from like Tommy Matola, which was crazy news. Um, so it was like his, his father had passed. Uh, rest in peace to Rudolph, uh, Rudolph Chance, Pastor Rudolph Chance, or Elder Rudolph Chance. Um, so it was, it was, it was crazy, you know, and, um, right. We'll continue our episode after this message. Are you looking for a reliable way to transfer money to family and friends? Check out the Cash App. It's safe, easy, and convenient. Just download the app from the Apple or Google Play Store and start receiving and sending money in a few minutes. Sign up today and receive $5. And don't forget to use our referral code. VGRCWQX. Swag at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com. Now, back to our conversation. Coming a father, I was about to have a baby at the time. It was, it was, it was, it was craziness. So, um, David got into doing movies, other production. He put out some other groups. Started getting into doing film. Um, I got into building, actually building, like building and constructing. And I uh, started building video sets and, and started going on a road with Cool and the Gang and Slave. And, and um, it was crazy. It was, but it's, it's in a crazy way. It's like we still were building each other. We're building ourselves up to fit together a certain kind of way. Um, so all I can say is, man, I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I know it's a, a, a divine plan, a divine design. Okay. Well, uh, again, congratulations on um, at least the first two songs I've heard are pretty good. So be sure to right. get, uh, rebirth from rough ends. Um, now we spoke briefly on just trying to stay safe during this pandemic. Have you guys done the, uh, the, um, the, Inst the Instagram or the Facebook live or, Maybe do a versus. Is that since we're all sort of cooped up in the house? 
like are doing a very season. Yeah. We thought about it. I mean, but like Dante, you know, said before, um, and I feel the same way. It's like right now we're known for no more and someone to love you. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't think that's a catalog that's big enough to be on a versus really. You know what I mean? Um, I know because as a fan, I, I would want to see somebody with a bigger catalog that makes, you know, you're going to be on there for a while. But I think our verses will probably be like 20 minutes, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, and that's about it, you know what I mean? So, uh, but I mean, it's a nice gesture. I mean, a lot of people said that to us, y'all, y'all should be on verses, but hopefully after these couple albums come out, uh, maybe in a, in a year or so, we'd be able to do a verses, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, let's get back to uh, Rebirth uh, again, April 2nd, really stick. Um, April 2nd. What do you hope people get out of uh, this new Rebirth? Well, first of all, I want to say thank you in advance to all our fans, all our supporters, whether they're new, whether they've been riding with us from day one, whether they got on the train at the second stop. I don't care where you get on that. I, I, I appreciate you and I love you. Um, I want everyone that hears this album and hears about this album to love it <laughs> and go get it. Definitely. But um, I definitely want them to get a sense of genuine R&B. Um, genuine, genuine creativity, you know. <clears throat> um, I want them to be able to relate to this album, to apply to their lives, to uh, to use it as a soundtrack to their lives from uh, at one point or another. So that's why we do what we do. So that would be that would be lovely for me okay. to alter. All right, uh, and we'll have um, all of Rough End's um, information in the show notes on this video, and also on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Um, where can um, your fans reach out to you on social media? Man, they can reach out to us at Ad Official Rough Ends, and that's Rough Ends with a Z. And that's on Facebook and that's on Instagram. And that's going to be the main platform, but we are also on Twitter as well. Uh, that's the real Rough Ends on Twitter. Um, and you can find us on there. Also, uh, Stay up to date with us because our social media, we're going to be posting like everything that's going on with us. We have a Rough Ends documentary that's going to be coming out later this year as well. An in-depth story of the group. And it's going to be, uh, we're going to be shopping that to some networks. So hopefully you'll see it on one of the major platforms real soon. Um, and it's it's a story that, you know, you definitely want to want to see. Um, and of course, we've got the album coming out this, this Friday. Um, the video for Be The One is going to be premiering this Friday as well on Vivo. So uh, that's going to be a big deal. We're excited about that. We got a lot of visuals from this album coming out. We got our song with Crazy Bone on this album. It's called Your Body. And uh, we're going to be shooting a video with him. So a lot of fans, you're going to see a lot of collaborations from us in the future. But um, also, we got a lot of performances coming down the pipe. And uh, lastly, this Friday, we're going to be at Times Square in New York City. Um, we're doing a meet and greet with our fans. So we're gonna be giving away t-shirts, um, rough ends, tees, and some merch. Um, so come on out if you are in the New York area. If you got cousins, family that's in New York, call them up, tell them to go down there and meet rough friends so they can get uh get some of this free merch and we can connect with them. Uh, this will be a social distancing event as well. Uh, it's gonna be outside of course, but uh we're excited, man. A lot, a lot on the horizon for the group. And um, this Thank is the beginning of a catalog of new music from Rough Ends to pick up where we kind of left off. Okay. And um, again, we'll have that information on our website as well. Um, now you mentioned that it's going to be an outdoor, um, outdoor event. Are you guys... Um, Are you guys anticipating perhaps performing, maybe touring this year? I know COVID kind of has everybody sort of backed up, but. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. So you guys are making you know, dates and possibly the event that we're able to get out there and go to shows. Yeah. Oh, most okay. definitely. 
as soon as we could possibly tour, we are trying to reconnect. Somebody asked me a question on another interview. When was the last time we performed? And to not remember when the last time we performed exactly is, is not even right on so many levels. It's just not right. Right. So yeah, we gotta we gotta make our way back as soon as possible. So whatever we gotta do to get this country back together at some point so we could get these shows back, well, we need to go. Yeah, I agree, man. I think um, you know, the more and more you watch news, you see people who have um, you know, uh COVID fatigue and you know being cooped exactly. up in the house is just not natural. Um, you know, but uh, hopefully, um, mm. you know, this year we'll be able to get out, um, see some shows and do some other things. Um, yeah. Anything else you guys want to add before we, uh, before we cut this interview loose? I know you guys got to been busy all day doing interviews. Indeed, man. I just um, follow us, man. Uh, support us. We appreciate platforms like yourself, Todd. Um, you know, groups like us don't get, don't sometimes get the big platforms like the Wendy Williams shows and all of this stuff. But um, it's platforms like yours that help us to connect with our fans because they're all online. And um, so we we appreciate you for what you do for for artists like ourselves and just the world of R&B, keeping R&B alive, uh, the R&B that we know and love. Um, so we thank you for that, brother, and having us on. And um, you know, again, new rough fans. April 2nd, Rebirth. Okay, and quickly, Shout out to Terry Harvey, our manager, and shout out to SRG Universe and the whole Rough Ends team. Okay, and quickly, where can people pick up the uh, new music? Um, you yeah. can go to SRG Store. It's SRG Store. Um, and uh, before the album even drops, you can pre-order it and get a signed copy, a signed, this signed, not a stamp, actually signed, all of them. Um, personal autographs, signed, postcard, um, when you pre-order or get the album from SRG Store. Um, but we will be available on all platforms, all platforms from Spotify to Tidal to you name it. So get your playlist ready. Hey, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a very interesting summer. Yeah, here, here. All right. That's David Chance and Dante Jordan from Rough Ends. Fellas, I appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you, uh, brother. Thanks again, brother. And good luck with everything, you. man. Definitely, man. Be blessed, man. And you can find out more about, that. I'm sorry, you can find out more about Dante and David and Rough Ends on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com. That's David and Dante. And we'll be right back. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Well, that's our show for today. I'd like to thank my special guests, David Chance and Dante Jordan from the group Rough Ends. You can find out more about Rough Ends on our website at bringbacksoulmusic.com as well as on their social media sites. Don't forget, you can listen to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and Pandora. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Bring Back Soul Music TV. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Don't forget to check out all our merch and support our channel at the Soul Shop at shop.bringbacksoulmusic.com. I'm Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.